as a performer and as a teacher, um, it is the most thrilling thing in the world when you're working with a student on stage or trying to engage with an audience and they, and they get it. You have become the facilitator for that. It can be creating great art, even in a school auditorium. Sometimes that happens and that is, that is the greatest. More often than not, those kids that we're told to watch out for are the ones who need this the most. They need theater. They need a place that they can explore the extremes of emotion, which is what they're feeling all the time. And so we get kids who are bouncing off the walls in rehearsals and then come to a, the performance time, they get in front of an audience, and they are on. They have found their home. So those, those kids, more often than not, the trouble kids, if you will, those are the kids who turn out spectacularly. When you are an adult performer and you're working alongside a student performer or performing in front of a student crowd, they are seeing you at the same time be deadly serious about something, something that requires skill or requires virtuosity, it requires attention every single minute, and at the same time they are seeing you be very silly, they are seeing you take chances, go out of your comfort zone, and they're seeing it all happen, uh, happening in split-second fashion. And I've seen the looks on their faces sometimes. They look at you like, they can't believe you're being silly. They can't believe you're also being um, very good at something. And they're, you're, 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 you're reaching them on their level, on, the, on, the, uh, on a kid's level. And at the same time, you're doing something that is very adult. And it is the same thing and it is at the same time. And I don't think they see that often with adults. Kids can smell a liar. They might not know what you're lying about or... They not, might not know the details, but they can smell that something's not true. And so if you're on stage and you're not being real, you're not feeling the emotions, <laughs> they know it. And as a result, they respond to it, or rather, they don't respond to it. So honesty, and then, and this is the hard one, keeping it fresh, keeping it real for the first time every time. That's incredibly difficult to be me, me, and to fall in love, and to fall out of love, and fall back in love, and then die, honestly, for real, every single time. That's really difficult, but if you do, it pays off. People respond to that. They can tell that you're engaged and you're invested and you've shared something really precious with them.